so we have learned about most of the magic words which is applicable in abba upon hana the last but most important magic word especially for abba pers that is code push down what is this code push down or some people say code to data paradigm what it is we will see in this video let's get started before going to code push down i just want to show you guys if you are application server level below 7.4 and below then you can't use as per hana you can use as a bihana if your application net your application server should be above 7.4 and above then only you can use ab app on hana the code push down so what i mean by code push down so in traditional ab app or we can say previously which we were working on other database ab app what we were doing suppose i have to get data from the database and display in the alv format in the output what i i do i get the data from the database from different table and do the all the processing part at the application server and i at last i will display the data in the final alv so what we are doing here we are getting the data from database but all the processing part whatever we are doing at the application server so that we were telling don't burden your database that time we were telling but here the picture got changed now we have to do most of the things in the database level itself suppose i want to process the data i want to get the minimum data from the database after processing no need to get everything from the data to application server and process that in the app of hana since our database is powerful we have to do most of the our things on the database itself instead of doing at the application layer so that is the reason in the picture also see there is application layer and database layer previously what we were doing data intensive and computation calculation we are doing at the application layer but now everything whatever we want to do we want to do summation we want to join the tables we want to do the lot of calculations lot of things on the those tables we have to do everything on database itself after doing those things get the final result and come to application server then do fine fine tuning and we can display at the output like that we have to do previously we are doing at everything at the application layer now we have to do at the database layer so second thing avoid unnecessary movement of large volume of data previously we are we are getting all the data and then we were doing now we are doing everything on the database and we have to get the uh, we we are have to do everything in the application server so but how to do now we have some tools so we can do the code push down some of the things done by sap that we call transparent optimization because it's done by an sap such as the protocols between application layer and the database layer they have improved that one for data fast access and table buffer improvement those kind of thing th those kind of things done by sap so no need to worry about that that will work internally for us as soon as we use hana database but what we have to do as a developer we have now open sql enhancement means we have new sql uh set of sqls which we can use to do the most of the processing on the database so previously we can't join more than two table or three table once we can join the data the uh the database is not good so that is the reason we are not getting the data faster but now we can join up to 50 table uh, so it's like because our database is proper powerful we can we can uh, we can utilize this power and we can do a lot of things at the database level we have the lot of additional clauses having close group group by we were having previously as well but edi having and union union all those kind of things are there which we can use in now in our open sql to do processing part at the database the second thing the open apart from the open sql enhancement we have advanced view definition previously we used normal use database uh, database view help you and all we have now something called cds use core data services that we will that is also will run on directly database and utilize the database performance and we will do lot of thing faster these are the second layer if you want to do more things we have now we can write the native sql in better way we have native sql native sql you already know database specific language we can write in abap itself in the we using the utility classes there are very much better framework 
before we are using exe and, and exe now we have very much better format then we can write the native sql and utilize the database things if you, something we have to do but not only that we can create the database procedures which usually we create uh, database people will database developer create in the database in the ABAP itself we call them ABAP managed database processor and we will do that kind of coding in ABAP itself and we can utilize the database database powerfulness and we can do a lot of things on the database so these things just CDS use and what is the open SQL enhancement what is this native SQL enhancement in MDP we will be seeing our in upcoming video so this is just a, we want to see now because as a developer now we have to do all the things in the database layer instead of doing a lot of calculation and compute com, calculation and computation all all the things in the application side with that thank you and happy learning before moving to next video please like this video and subscribe this channel